Airchecks.com. WNBC. More fun, more music. I told you, once in a while I'll do that, but, uh, you know, I mean, don't make a habit of it. I mean, you know, you got to play songs people know, you know, at least people here. I mean, hey, if you guys are out there in the Detroit area, out in the Midwest, and you heard that record and you went, wow, that's really cool. See, that happened. You know, in the 60s, there were a lot of regional hits, and that was one of them. So there. 66 WNBC. Hi. Ain't no sunshine when she's gone. That's Bill Withers there, buddy. Anybody see anybody? 66. WNBC. Who is in the NBC Radio Network newsroom tonight? Let's see. Ann Taylor? No. No. She's done already. That means we're stuck with Don. I mean, I mean we're uh, going to have Don Alexander on here. Well, that's good. He's, he's fine in the NBC Radio Network newsroom. This is news from 66 WNBC, New York. This is the NBC Radio Network. I'm Don Alexander. This guy, the senator from Indiana, did a superb job. And the great thing is you don't have to take my word for it. Just wait and see how the American people respond. And I couldn't be happier. I am very, very happy tonight. George Bush, an onlooker like most of America Wednesday night, gives a thumbs up to his running mate Dan Quayle for the senator's performance in the Omaha debate. In that campaign encounter, Quayle and Texas Senator Lloyd Benson clashed most notably when Quayle compared his experience with that of the late President John F. Kennedy. Benson belittled any such comparison. The Democratic vice presidential candidate, a longtime farmer, also claimed the Dukakis administration would pry open foreign markets for U.S. crop growers. We would be pushing very hard to open up those markets and stand up for the American farmer and see that we recapture uh, those foreign markets. And I think we can do it with the Dukakis Benson administration. Quayle responded. Well, I'll tell you one way that we're not going to recapture the foreign markets, and that is if, in fact, we have another Jimmy Carter grain embargo. Jimmy... President Reagan forcefully denies published reports that he okayed anti-terrorism tactics in recent years that would have provided CIA agents with James Bond-like license to kill. You're listening to NBC Radio Network News. Interception! He's at the 30, 20, he's going all the way! Touchdown! Four seconds to go. Smith at the top of the key. Face left, stops, shoots, it's good! There's no other season like it, and there's no other sports weekly that brings it home like the Sporting News. Every week, the Sporting News goes behind the scenes to bring you complete, in-depth, up-to-the-minute news and stats without the fluff. What are the odds of the Redskins repeating? Who will be number one in college football? Can the Celtics take the Lakers' crown? Put your money on the Sporting News. Call now to get the Sporting News delivered right to your door for 75% off the newsstand price. You'll get 55 issues for four easy payments of $750. That's half the regular subscription price. Order the Sporting News. Call now. 1-800-328-6700. That's 1-800-328-6700. In a startling statement, the head of Chile's Air Force asserts that controversial President Augusto Pinochet has lost Wednesday's yes or no vote on a new eight-year term. In Santiago, Maureen Meehan sees the outcome as a final chapter in the general's political story. Chilean Air Force chief and member of the four-man junta, Fernando Matei, has conceded victory to the opposition in Chile's plebiscite on Wednesday. After several hours of vote counting, the government basically stopped counting their votes after they only counted 3.4%. What this means for Chile is that General Pinochet is on his last legs. Pointing to the nation's ailing thrift industry, the chairman of the Federal Home Loan Bank Board warns that his agency can't cover the full cost of rescuing savings and loan institutions in critical condition. M. Danny Wall told the Senate Budget Committee it could cost up to $50 billion to bail out the industry. This is the NBC Radio Network. We think quitting smoking is nearly as good an idea as never starting. But if it's too late for you not to start, it's not too late to quit. So we'd like to tell you about an excellent way to do it. It's called Easy Quit, the really amazing artificial cigarette that is freeing thousands of smokers from nicotine captivity more easily than they ever thought possible. Alan Ward of Sunnyvale, California, is one of those. Here's what he told us. I tried several different things the doctor told me to take before trying Easy Quit. I was smoking two packs a day, and I've now cut down to just two cigarettes a day. Congratulations, Alan. 
There's no nicotine or tobacco in Easy Quit, only a pleasing, totally safe menthol formula that blocks your craving for tobacco until it's gone. With Easy Quit, you too can smoke away your habit without ever smoking. Quit, cut down, or your money back. Easy Quit is yours for just $12.95, shipping and handling included. Send $12.95 to Easy Quit, Box 1987, Culver City, California, 90232. $12.95 to Easy Quit, Box 1987, Culver City, California, 90232. <laughs> WNBC remembers 66 years of New York's most memorable radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the National Broadcasting Company. 66 years ago, the word radio was not far from being a household name. Just a few years earlier, a young inventor named Marconi discovered a method of transmission via a spark gap generator. Well, as crude as it was, it laid the foundation for the future in a medium known as broadcasting. In the spring of 1922, the American Telephone and Telegraph Company realized a possible future in this medium and signed on an experimental station, W2XY. A short four months later, after granting an approval for a limited commercial license, the call letters changed to WBAY and finally to the mighty 500-watt WEAF. This was the beginning of WNBC. Now this is radio station WEAF. This is the world's first toll broadcasting station. The studio is located at 24 Walker Street in New York City. Heretofore broadcasting has been gratis to all. Now, due to the great demand by those who wish to use the airways for goodwill purpose, and with only one wavelength available, 360 meters, we are offering toll broadcasting service. You're now about to hear some Victor phonograph records. And with that, the pioneers of broadcasting set the foundation for the future. WNBC, 66 years. Yeah, WNBC. The Time Machine. <laughs> what a drag it is getting old. Music, pa, 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 pa. 66 WNBC. Explosion! Uh, DJ! Go, go! On the go-go with you all night long at 66 WNBC, playing back their greatest hits. Wayne Fontana with the Mind Benders here, WNBC. Yeah. WNBC! 11 after 3 is the music time, and Big J on the case once again. You're in with Big J. New York City for the good time. 66. This is good time music right here. But every night all the men would come around. Your music authority, WNBC. Lay that burden down, honey. Home of hip <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. I think they wanted to say something else in that record, but they, they just couldn't do it. it was, you know, it was too uptight a time. You know what I'm saying? On WNBC, it's Big J. It's about a quarter after one and 49 clear WNBC degrees. We have somebody in the hotline of hits, and I think we're going to go record pig in just a few minutes. And WNBC first, the hotline of hits. Who's this? Hey, Jay, it's Jimmy from Chinatown. Jimmy, what's happening? Uh, not much. You know, ironically enough, I have Chinese food for dinner tonight. I brought my own food in because I can't rely on Randy anymore. All right, it's not bad. <laughs> you know, it's got MSG in it, though. My hands will puff oh, up. Oh, no, that's no good. I know it's no good for you, but I forgot to tell him not to put it in. You know, what can I say? Well, what can I play for you on WNBC? <laughs> uh, you could play me a good song that would make it, make it a great last two days. Well, this sad sudden demise is too late to turn back now. All right. These brothers and sister Rose. You got it. And your favorite station, please. 66 WNBC, once and always. Music Radio, WNBC. The music sounds best on WNBC. <laughs> A little more to Monkey's music there. Our uh, WNBC music time is 1.20 right now. It's 49 clear WNBC degrees in New York town. All the weather's on 66 WNBC. Basically a 
clear night. Windy, quite cool in the low 40s before we're done. For your Thursday, it's going to be a mostly sunny and cool day up to around 60. Thursday night, clear, quite cool again, low 40s. And we get up to the upper 50s with sunshine on Friday. And right now, if you're traveling, if you're doing the Rome thing, upstate that is, 44 degrees and mostly cloudy. We don't have a metro yet. We haven't had a metro yet, have we? Okay. Uh, right now at uh, LaGuardia, it is clear and it is 50 degrees. Right now, Midtown, 48 clear, WNBC degrees. Got the drifters on the way, 1964. Swing with music from the super hits. 66 WNBC. Playing all those super hits all night long. Tonight and tomorrow, that's <laughs> it. The Drifters at 64 on Saturday night at the movies. Come on. You get a positive. Ow! Ow! Out of a super hot hit that by hurts. WNBC. All right, the super hit online at WNBC 212 247 866 Big J here. Who were the Jet Set? That's our current record pig question. We'll get back to that thing in just minutes. Hotline of Hits, who's this? Hi, Jay. This is Paul and Wappingers. Paul, what's going on up there? Hey, not much. A little cold tonight. Yeah, really? Up there, you probably got the wood burning stoves going already. Better part of 45 degrees. All right, go ahead, please. Uh, yeah, how about uh, Spill the Wine by Eric Bird and War? Absolutely. And uh, right. what's your favorite Chaquita station, man? 66 WNBC. Chime Lady, 129 at WNBC in New York Town, 48 clear WNBC degrees. There's a lot to remember. It's a Thursday, the 6th of October. WNBC. Flashback. Play dates, 1959. Top five hit 45s on Billboard's Hot 100. Three bells on RCA Victor is number five. A French origin performed by a family of Browns. Jim Ed, Maxine, and Bonnie. Number four, recorded with the Crickets, the Everly Brothers. Seventh top ten song, Till I Kissed You on Cadence Records. And still another family act at number three. Two Brooklyn brothers, Santo and Johnny Farina. The steel guitar-laden instrumental Sleepwalk on the Canadian-American label. Number two, the follow-up to Lonely Boy from Canadian Boy. Boy Wonder, Paul Anka, on ABC Paramount, Put Your Head on My Shoulder. Number one was not intended for single release by Bobby Darren, but Atco Records released it anyway, and it's a huge number one, based on a tune from a three-penny opera, Mac the Knife. The number one rhythm and blues 45, Sea of Love, a song that peaked at number two pop a month ago from Phil Phillips on Mercury. Play date, 59. WNBC. Number one. Number one, R&B. I always like this record. It's Phil Phillips and the Sea of Love, number one on the Rhythm and Blues chart this date, 1959. On 66, WNBC. You'll find the fun. What's the do? Radiates around 66, yeah. WNBC. The all-night fun revolves around his bigness on WNBC. Hey, this is the piggy that speaks with a grunt. Right. Uh, Big J. Thank you, Mr. Mel Blanc. Thank you, Fabulous Four. Thank you, Little Bitty Piggies. That Judy is a damn good whacking. That's all I can say. Record pig. King of pigs on the case. Who are the jet set? It's not the Mets, but they lost six to three. Dodgers beat them. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's just, you know, it's, come on. Boink, boink. The series. No, I don't want to talk about it. Uh, boink, boink. The jet set. Let's get back to that. Who's this? Hey, Big Dave, this is Trish. Hi, Trish. Yeah, I think... Well, what do you got for me this time? Uh, record pig answer. All right. Uh, how about Leonard Skinner? Leonard Skinner is not correct. Uh, but, but you're on the right track. All right. All right, I'm on the right track. Uh, well, let's... Let's keep trying. Let's keep trying to figure this out. Hi, WNBC. Who's this? This is Jim J. Hi, Jim J. Bullock? Wow! Hollywood Squares! Whoa, whoa! No, it's not, is it? No. Oh, you didn't sound goofy enough. <laughs> All right, go ahead, please. What do you have for me? Uh, you said the jet set? Mm-hmm. You could have said the beef eaters. I could have. Keep, uh, keep going, keep going. The birds. The birds is right! Yes! Okay. How'd you get that? Uh, I heard it on the, uh, 
radio documentary a couple of years ago. Okay, well, so you pay attention, and that's good. You're a record pig. Let's hear you oink like one, and I'll play Mr. Tambourine Man. I don't get a prize, do I? Of course not. Oh, okay. It's too late for that now. Okay. Oink, oink. That's not correct, sir. Better. All right. Congratulations. You're a time machine record pig. The Jet Set. WNBC. One of the beef eaters. Better known as... All hits, all the time. 66 WNBC. WNBC, and thank you, everybody, for calling up Big J and uh, wishing us well here at the Time Machine. We appreciate that. And, you know, the whole station. You know, the Time Machine is just a big part of WNBC. Actually, it's a small pimp on a... <clears throat> you know what I mean. Uh, <laughs> no, but thank you very much. It's really nice. You know, I've been doing this um, particular show. Oh, music time is 1.39. I'm sorry. i got to follow up format. Thank you. Stand by. Part 2 of the WNBC Time Machine will post soon. Sixty-six. WNBC. Yeah. Follow the leader. Airchecks.com.